Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's about it's about to go live, and it tell us. It's okay. We are live. Hey, everybody. It's Deborah Dixon Anderson and Cassandra Smith. And we're about to go ahead and do some yoga. And Cassandra is going to be leading us. Um, don't forget to join the GoWellnessCircle.com wellness platform. Um, but believe me, all of this can make you feel so much more relaxed. I walked today, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to stretching it out. And Cassandra's gonna help us do that. Right, Cassandra? And we're about to So we can hear your we can hear your echo. Um, don't forget to join the So you're gonna have to move it. Which one? We can hear, we can hear the echo, um, the Facebook echo. Let me, turn, let me turn it down. Yep. I'm turning it all the way down. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Trust me. I've, I've done that many times. Oh so I'm going to make Cassandra the co-host of the meeting. And I'm also going to pin Cassandra's video. So that way you'll see her. I'm going to mute myself out. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Cassandra. And you are now oh, on. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to start out by just reading a, a, a small passage. I've been reading this. It's called The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. And this is a daily devotional. I don't know if everyone's doing a daily devotion in this time of this pandemic. And it's dated. So May 22nd is Times of Reprogramming. Do not ask for love unless you are ready, you're ready to be healed enough to give and receive love. Do not ask for joy unless you're ready to feel and release your pain so you can feel joy. Do not ask for success unless you're ready to conquer the behaviors that would sabotage success. Wouldn't it be nice if we can imagine ourselves having or becoming and then immediately receiving what we wanted? We can have and be the good things we want. All good things are ours for the asking. But first, groundwork preparation work must be done. So today is the times of reprogramming. Since we have plenty of time, we're going to go through this flow and figure out how can we reprogram our time and our day. This is the new normal. We're going to come out of this COVID-19 with something in our hands. We're going to start in the easy position. Place your palms on your knees. Raise your arms up. Make sure your palms are facing each other. Turn to the right. Place your left hand on your right knee. Place your right hand behind you. Twist from the hips. Inhale and exhale deeply. Switch sides. Return to the center, twist to the left, place the right hand on the left knee, place his left hand behind you, twist from the hips, and inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Raise your arms up. Make sure your palms are facing each other. Turn your palms in front of you and fold. Inhale and exhale deeply. Walk yourself up. 
Drop your chin to your chest. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise your chin to the sky. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Rotate your chin to your right shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Rotate your chin to your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Look straight ahead. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Raise your palms, raise your arms up. Palms facing each other, rotate your palms and hold. And inhale and exhale deeply. Walk your hands up. Stretch your legs out. Straight your spine. Raise your arms up, palms facing each other, rotate and fold. You can keep your hands on your thighs, on your shins, or you can fold it even further. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise back up. Switch your heels out. Raise your palms to the sky. Turn to the right and fold, reaching for your right foot. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise up from the hips. Return to the center. Rotate your hips and fold, reaching for your left foot. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise back up. Return to the center. Rotate your palms and fold. Inhale and exhale deeply. Walk your hands back up to the center. Pull your right foot in. Place your right foot into your left thigh. Raise up. Rotate. Reach for your left foot. Stretch your right arm out. Inhale and exhale deeply. Palm up. Palm down. Palm up. Palm down. Palm up. Palm down. Release. Switch. Place your left foot into your right thigh. Rotate up. Palms facing each other. Rotate from the hip. 
reach for that right foot. Stretch out that left hand. Palms up. You can either look at your right foot, look straight ahead, or look, look at that left palm. Palm up. Palm down. Palm up. Palm down, palm up, and palm down. Release, release that foot. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Use your arms to open up your hips. Inhale and exhale deeply. Push your knees together. Stretch your feet out. Place your left foot next to your, place your right foot next to your left thigh. And what I want you to do is use this left hand as a kickstand. Move over to the, and then Pull that right foot in, excuse me, left foot. And we're gonna come back over. So we have the left foot, excuse me, the left leg, this right leg is crossing over the left thigh. The left thigh is below the right foot. And then we're like in a cross, or if you, you can keep it like this. We're pulling this in. Raise up. Spread out. Palms up. Windmill down. Windmill up. Windmill down. Windmill up. Window down, window up, window down. So release that right leg, release the left, take that left leg, switch sides. I want to make sure I'm switching sides. I can't remember. Switch sides, so I place the left foot over the right. I fold that right foot under me. So I end up like this. So bring my hands apart. Bring my hands in front of me. So I will rest that right hand under the left. Keep it here for level one. Bring my palms together for level two. Raise my elbows for level three. Inhale and exhale deeply. And release. Switch sides. I place my right arm over my left. My palms are facing me for level one. Level two, bring those palms together. Level three, bring that elbow up. Inhale and exhale deeply. And release. Release that left leg. Release that right leg. Windmill to the left. Rotate the knees to the right. Rotate the knees to the left. Rotate. Wiggle it out. Use your hands as a kickstand. We're going to raise that right. 
right foot up. Number one, raise the left foot up. Number two, push it out. Bring it in, push it out. Bring it in, push it out. Bring it in, push it out. Bring it in. So this is level one. Use your hands as a quick stand. Level two, level three, drop your feet, rotate your knees to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Return to the center, lay on your back. Pull your head, your heels in as close as possible to the to your fingertips. Stay here for level one. Raise up your hips into a bridge for level two. Drop it down. Push it up. Drop it down. Push your hips up, release. Push your hips up, release. Push your hips up, release. Push your hips up and release. Drop your knees to the right. Stretch your arms out. Drop your knees to the right. Stretch your arms out. Rotate your palms to the floor. Drop your knees to the right. Look to the left. Inhale and exhale deeply. Bring your knees up. Drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. Inhale and exhale deeply. Bring your knees up. Take your right. Cross it over the left. Drop your knees to the right. Look to the left. Arms are outstretched. Arms are down. You can, I can feel that in my hips. Release. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Stretch your arms out as if you're an airplane, palms facing down. Drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. And inhale and exhale deeply. Uncross your legs. Bring your palms back next to you. Take that right foot. Place it on your left thigh. Your, palm, your hands are beside you. So this is level one. I have my right foot is resting on my left thigh. I use my hands to open up my hips. So level one, I will keep my left foot on the floor. Level two, raise the right, excuse me, raise the left foot off the floor. Take the right hand, bring it through 
Place that right hand behind my right thigh. Take my left hand, interlock it with my right. Open up the hip. This is level two. Level three, extend the leg. The bottoms of my feet is shining towards the ceiling. Open up the hips. Drop down. This is level two. Drop back down to level one. Drop that right foot on the floor. Rotate the knees to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Return to the center. Take that left foot. Place that left foot on top of the right thigh. This is level one. Use that left hand. Place that left hand on the left leg. Open up the hip. Level two. Raise that foot off the floor. Open up my hip. Take my right hand. Thread through. Place my right hand on the back of my left thigh. Place my left hand on the back of my left thigh. Interlock my fingers. Oops, the opposite. Actually, I'm switching over. I'm threading through with my left hand. My left hand should be back uh, on the back of my right thigh. My right hand should be on the back of my right thigh. Interlock my fingers. Open up those hips. Level two. Or let's say option two. Option three, raise that foot up. Inhale and exhale deeply. Release that foot to the floor on one, drop the right foot to the floor. Drop the knees to the right. Drop the knees to the left. Drop the knees to the right. Drop the knees to the left. We're gonna roll over to our stomach. Place the left hand on top of the right. Left. We're going to place the left hand on the mat, the right hand. The elbows are right in front of you. Look straight ahead. We're going to turn from my left hip. So when I turn from my left hip, I'm not turning my neck. My head is just following the twist. Turn to the left. Return to the center. Use the right hip. Turn to the right. Release. Lower down. Keep your palms next to you. Raise your chest off the floor. Elbows are close to the body. Fingertips on the floor. Inhale and exhale deeply. And release. Raise your chest off the floor. This is option one. Release. Option two. Make sure your elbows are pulled into your body. And release. Option three, you can stay on your knees. Look up to the sky and release. Intertwine your fingers behind you. 
shoulder blade in. Option one. Option two. Inhale and exhale deeply. Option three. Release. Inhale and exhale deeply. Option one, intertwine your fingers together. Option two, raise your chest to the, from the floor. Option three, just raise up a little bit more and inhale and exhale. And release, release the hands. Place your hands beside you. Push up onto your knees. Go into some cat cows. Make sure your fingertips are spread apart. The heels of your hands will support your body. Make sure your knees are hip width apart. We're going to go into some cat cows. Push the hips out. Make sure your elbows are turned in. Cat. Push those hips out, cow. Pull the hips in, cat, cow. Cat, cow, cat, cow. Return to the center. And push yourself into a child's pose. Inhale and exhale deeply. Push yourself up. Take your right foot. Use your hands as a kickstand. Bring that right foot up. Make sure your right foot is between your two hands. If you have issues with the knees, you can use a blanket. My palms are on each side of my foot. Curl your toes, that left foot, just for support. So stay here for level one. Excuse me, I'll call it option one. Option two, place your hands on your right thigh is option one. Option, excuse me, this is option two. Option three, make sure your back foot is curled just for support. Shine your heart to the sky for option three. Inhale and exhale deeply. This is option two. This is option three. Push your hips back. Make sure you're on your heel. Inhale and exhale deeply. Push back up, return your right foot or your right knee back to the mat. Make sure you always use your hands for support. Bring that left foot forward. Place your left hand on one side, fingertips straight apart, the right hand on the other side for support. Make sure your knee is comfortable. Option one. Curl your back toes. Option two. Option 
Option three, shine your heart to the sky. Inhale, exhale deeply. Back to option two. Option one, then move your hips back, heels are on the floor. Inhale and exhale deeply. Turn to your left foot. Place your hands on the mat just for safety. Place both of your knees on the mat. Push your right foot. Push your right foot back. Make sure you get your hands. Option one. Make sure your elbows are in, your fingertips are spread apart. This is option one. Keep your knee, your foot on the floor. Option two. Bring that knee into your nose. Push it back. Bring that knee to your left elbow. Push it back. Bring the knee into the right elbow. Push it back and release. Bring that right knee back in. Stretch that left foot out, option one. This is option two. Bring that left knee in. Push it out. Bring that left knee to the left shoulder or elbow. Push it out. Bring that knee into the right shoulder. Press it out and release. Bring that knee in and go into a child's pose and inhale and exhale deeply. Push back up into a table. Knees are hip width apart. Bring your right hand next to your left. Turn that left foot. Use that right foot as a kickstand. This is level one. Or you can say here for level one, excuse me, option one. This is option one with both palms on the floor. Option two, place the hands on that hip. Make sure that right foot, the toes on the right foot are curls. And option three, look straight ahead or you can look up, whatever your option is. Bring that hand back to the hip. Drop that left foot. Bring it. Back to the mat, we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to catacorn that right foot. Make sure the left foot is on the floor. This is option one. Place the hands on the hips for option two. So option two, curl your left toes just for support. Option three, inhale and exhale deeply. Bring your hands back down, drop that foot, drop that knee and go into a child's pose. Push back up. Keep your left.
left hand on the mat, thread your right hand through, place the palm, the right palm on the floor. This is option one. Option two is to push those hips back. Option three is to lay on the side of your face. And then you can pull your hand behind you or leave it in front of you. From one, push yourself back into the table. Switch to the other side. We're gonna take the left hand Thread it to the right. Option one, push the hips back. Option two, lay on the side of your face. On the left side, option three, unwind. Let's do some cat cow. Cat, cat, ow. Always curl my toes for support. Cat, ow, cat, ow, cat, ow, and release, release those toes. Drop it. Your elbows to the floor. Put your palms together, interlock your fingers. We're gonna move those knees from behind you. Drop your head to the floor. Inhale and exhale deeply. Knees back up, roll over onto your back. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Place your hands beside you, palms facing up. Feel the sensation in your right ankle. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your left ankle. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your right shin. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your left shin. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your right knee. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your left knee. Feel the sensation in your right thigh. Feel the sensation in your left thigh. Feel the sensation in your left hip. Feel the sensation in your right hip. Feel the sensation in the left side of your rib cage. Feel the sensation in the right side of your rib cage. Feel the sensation in your chest. Feel the sensation in your right shoulder. Feel the sensation in your left shoulder. Feel the sensation in your throat. 
little sensation in between your eyebrows. Little sensation in the top of your head. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy your shavasana. Place your right foot on the floor. Place your left foot on the floor. Raise your knees up. Drop your knees to the right. Pull your knees into your chest. Rest your, rest your left hand on the floor. Inhale and exhale deeply. hand, push yourself up, embrace yourself with the right hand, go into an easy position of your choice, place your hands on your knees, bring your palms together, may you have a good day, namaste, may God be with you and you and you and you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good job, Cassandra. Good job, good job. All right, Facebook, if you're watching us, hope you enjoyed this. We did. I'm very de-stressed right now. And so, um, join us. We try to do the yoga every Friday at 12. Um, Monday kind of flip flops between 12 noon and 5 p.m. Um, we have to see what we're going to do because it's Memorial Day on Monday. So I don't know if we'll be here or not. Um, I'll be here on Monday in the same yeah. place. Okay. No right. barbecues for me. We still might have uh, a practice on Monday. Maybe midday might be better. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but go I've been invited to a barbecue period. There are no bar <laughs> no. barbecue. We're in a pandemic, so I don't know how barbecue is going to look. Although you can't do them if you're six feet apart. I don't know one person on a barbecue pit. Good luck with that. You know, we'll see how it works. But I'll be available if you need me, Deborah. Yes, absolutely. So everybody, I'm Deborah Dixon Anderson. This is Cassandra Smith. And uh, Cassandra is one of the yoga teachers on the goldwellnesscircle.com. Make sure you go visit. Go ahead and sign up. Signing up and subscribing is free. And the classes are very nominal. Um, we're also open to donations as well. We do have um, Nancy Candia will be teaching also at 4 p.m. So I'll be um, emailing everybody that. Make sure you join our list, everybody, so that you can find out our schedule. And then on next Thursday at 5 p.m., we're going to have an essential oils workshop, which will be really good, learning about how you can provide healing, you know, for certain aches and pains in a holistic way and find out about that. And so join us next time, everybody. Take care. Be blessed. Have a good one. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Bye.